Okay, guys, this is part two. This is what I promised you. So, Chilala and a few boxers have been testing it out. There was so much footage that I had to break it up. So, this round is just boxing. Just boxing. So, Chilala's at a disadvantage because, again, his training is not just boxing. Ooh, attempting to jam. Look at that. He put his forearm almost to trap his opponent. Ooh, wow. So, Chilala's connecting with some short-range punches. But I think he's... Oh, that was a great punch right down the center line. Um, another great punch down the center line. The boxer is hitting him with more looping punches, though. This is the problem. If you're going to fight this way, you might hit him with more volume. But he's going to hit you with a little bit more force. Chilala trying a little bit of a helmet block there. Oof, ouch. Oof, Chilala is not doing the best for his brain right now. Although this is very impressive that he's managing to land certain parries and certain traps and certain punches. Oof, ouch. He left his face wide open for that one. So, obviously, I think if you're going to take part in a boxing match against... A boxer and you're gonna use Wing Chun you're probably at a disadvantage but Chilala is still making it work not the most effective use of Wing Chun but way better than any other Wing Chun guy that's tried to go against boxers in the boxers game so look at that Chilala still with his hands down and what are you doing Chilala and oh Chilala almost oh Chilala left his ribs open look at that Chilala has evidence on his face that he has been hit a little bit. But wow, he's connecting with some really great looping punches too. Those are more looping punches that you could see in Xin Yi Liu He Quan. So he's not that kind of different type of framed hook that you saw. That's a more Xin Yi Liu he Quan type of boxing style than it is Wing Chun. And guys, I'm not saying Wing Chun doesn't have hooks. It's just that Chilalas told me explicitly that his hook comes from Xin Yi Liu he Quan. So, great little punch on the exit that Chilala did. Dude, both of them are going to regret this tomorrow. Both of them going to have headaches, man. Oof, ow. Chilala, why would you leave your face open, man? Ooh, great back fist. And a few more seconds left in this boxing round. There's going to be some ground fighting, too. So we're going to see that, ooh, Chilala had his left hand up and it protected him against a hook earlier. This is why you got to have your guard up, man. There you go. You see that? Have your left hand up. More more hands up, Chilala. So, ooh, nice, nice non-telegraph punch, right? Um, Bruce Lee was really into that with the JKD non-telegraph punch. A lot of his students were really good at that. All right, guys. If you notice, they've switched on to smaller gloves. This is going to be MMA rules, man. Man, I love what Chilala is doing. A lot of you are like, why do you favor him so much? It's because he's putting himself out there, man. If you guys want to get the fight commentary breakdown treatment, then put yourself out there. Look at this. Ooh. Some of the lopsal, I believe, that we never see Wing Chun guys do. He did it. Although they were sort of slow. But oh, Chilala got him. Oh, Chilala's getting him. Chilala's getting him with the, oh, this is amazing. Wow. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It's ground time. Ground time, Chilala. Can you? Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. So Chilala's learned a little bit of jiu-jitsu. So unfortunately, we're not going to see too much Wing Chun here. This is more just jiu-jitsu, anti-ground and pound training. Uh, Chilala's pretty good at, okay, so this is kind of King of Dragons type of rules. 10 seconds on the ground. I really think they should change it to 15 seconds, man. It's a little bit unfair to the grapplers for just 10 seconds, but it's okay. Because in a real fight, right, you probably only want to be on the ground for 10 seconds. Too many X factors if you're on the ground for too long. Oh, ouch! Silala ate a pretty good jab. Oh, nice! Silala parried and framed some of those. Oh, that was a little hook kick that our boxer threw. I think this boxer has some karate training too. Woo! Great little punch on the exit by Chilala. Oh, a little trap or a little, um, what do they call it? Like a 
like a pocket frame. No, no, not a pocket frame. I don't know the term. Sorry, I'm not very good with Wing Chun terms because they're all in Cantonese. I don't know my Cantonese. But look at that, guys. You see Wing Chun here. He's obviously trying Wing Chun and a little bit of Xin Yi Liu Chuan. So this is not like where the Wing Chun guy doesn't do any Wing Chun, right? Chilala is literally putting his face at extra risk to show us some Wing Chun. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Wow. There we go. That was... Oh, ow! Oh, Chilala's head hit a little bit the bat. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, man. He was okay with his sprawling for a little bit. I think he got a little bit too confident in him trying some guillotine. Oh, man. I hate when the... Oh, ow. Uh, he ate one good punch from the top. Wow. This is great, guys. This is great. Ooh, another leg kick by our boxer karate guy. Oh, Chilala trying for a... Ah, he's probably not going to get that leg. Our boxer has too much pressure on top of Chilala. See? See? Uh, Got to transition. Come on, transition, Chilala. Let's see if Chilala can figure something out from here. Boxer has now snapped him down. Maybe pulling him into a guillotine. I don't know if Chilala tapped. I don't think so. Wow. Um, I wish they would do a small gloves round without going to the ground. Sort of a small gloves round. Because again, we saw even more utilization of Wing Chun. At least in the standing part. And I think, guys, that was it, man. That was it. How is that, man? How is that? I think we probably need to watch this in slow motion. Initially, Chilala has his guard up, right? And then... There's a moment here where Chilala tries a frame and he pays for it by eating two punches right here. One, an uppercut and an overhand. So this was a cool part with Chilala. See, he sticks to him. He sticks to him. You see that? Oh, and a good little short range uppercut there too. He kind of punches and sticks his punch. Notice that he doesn't retract it. Maybe he's trying to play with some Wing Chun principles. That was pretty good. It was a little... little Short punch to the chin. And then Chilala trying some hooks too. That was a great punch down the pipeline. Guys, give Chilala the credit, man. This guy is way bigger too. So, look at that. A little head off center line by Chilala, but he ate a hook there. He comes back with like a Xin Yi Liu Chen type hook. This one we were noticing. Ooh, those punches knocked him back. Ugh, hands not protecting himself when he's hitting, man. When he's throwing hooks to the body he doesn't protect his face so chilala with some frames there look at that constantly trying to use his hand to frame and trap so i appreciate more that he tries at least to get his left hand at his temple area when he can so he's absorbed through his gloves instead of his face a lot of those punches that come looping from the left side his left side the opponent's right side. So, the good punch down the pipeline, but he also ate one back. Oh, dude. The opponent did a standard boxing thing. Body, body, then face, right? Silala fell for that. So, ooh, great jab by the opponent. Ooh, another jab by the opponent. Let's see. Good little... That was almost like a trap and hit. It was it was almost bouncing off the opponent's hand to hit. So you see boxers do that too, but I don't think he learned that from boxing. Great little punch, but Chilala ate one too because his right hand wasn't by his temple. Oh, great back fist. Another good back fist by Chilala. So that was great little... It was a, a cross to a jab or a cross to a lead hook. Chilala, I like that I've been noticing the left hand is closer to his temple more. That's a really good modification. Oh, look at that. Him. <laughs> uh, that was pretty good. Sort of using all these feints of body hooks and then hooking to the face. Look at that. Another framing that worked in his favor. He framed with his right hand. I think I'm learning some really cool stuff from Chilala. If you're going to frame... You better almost off balance your opponent too. So you're framing at an angle. It's really interesting to see this.
See Lala leaving his face open. Oh, great angle of backfist. There you go. His opponent has the high guard. There you go. See Lala trying to use his face to telegraph. Or trying to use his face to bait the opponent. Good. See, you see the left hand, Chilala's left glove being there, protecting. Chilala's probably saved himself from at least five right hooks because his left hand has been there. But his right hand, man, sometimes needs to attach to his face a little bit more. Nice punch. I remember that punch from watching it in full speed. And this is the end of the round. Final jab by the opponent. Now let's watch the MMA round in slow motion. Chilala trying some... His hand placement is definitely different than when he initially started out with boxing, right? Notice he has this... Um, what do you call it? A wunshou, right? A mansou. He almost has like a modified wunshou, mansou. So this was when we noticed, I guess you would call that lopsal. I don't know what the Cantonese word is. So you, Wing Chun Pierce, let me know. You know, Wing Chun Pierce might still say, okay, despite this great demonstration of Wing Chun, Wing Chun Pierce might still say there is no Wing Chun, okay? You guys get off my channel. Unsubscribe, get off my channel, please. It's just annoying. Like, Chilala's putting his brain on the line to try to prove Wing Chun and we still have Wing Chun people being like, that's not real Wing Chun. You guys do what Chilala is doing here. You guys go up against a guy that has like 300, did I say 300? 30 pounds on him. So this is just a jujitsu, right? You, you put his bicep at your knee area so you can control his punches. So this is just standard jujitsu, anti-ground and pound MMA type of stuff. So here we go. Watching this stuff just makes me so happy. I really, really enjoy Pioneers, man. And I encourage all of you guys, man, do it safely. So that was a little bit of hand fighting, standing hand fighting. I love it. I think we just invented a new term, standing hand fighting. Chilala ate a good punch there, acknowledging it. So Chilala almost having like a modified Philly shell, but like with... Like a show, a Mansell kind of thing. Oh, that great Uramawashi Gary by our, um, this guy, boxer guy. Wow. Nice punch down the pipe right there. That is a standard Wing Chun centerline punch. Again, more standing grappling. I don't like the word standing grappling. I think this is, you could call this standing hand fighting. I think that's what we need to call it. Like in the future, this range of trapping range, let's not call it trapping because trapping rarely works. Shilala can make it work one out of 10 times. So let's just call it standing hand fighting. I think that's better. All right, let's just do that. There's a great center line punch right there. So standing hand fighting. He caught him with another hook. Another good punch by Chilala. Again, trying the little, you kind of pie, right? The pack. Oh, there's a great little frame on the neck right there. Oh, I see. This was the spot. Oh, man. This was the spot. We thought Chilala had it. He had the control, but the opponent just had too much explosiveness. And unfortunately, Chilala's head even smacked a little bit. Thank goodness that was a... Matted surface, but still, that's not pleasant, man. Oh, man. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. And so that was a little bit of the rule saving Tilala there. So little great kick to the calf by our MMA guy. And wrong range of his hook. Oh, Tilala. I remember this. Tilala trying the single leg. And unfortunately, opponent has sprawled and put his weight on Chilala. So not too much that I can do here. Chilala almost trying like a squat. Got to transition into something else. This is where some sambo or some judo or even wrestling. Wrestling is probably the best thing that would have helped Chilala. I think if Chilala could combine his Wing Chun and Xin Liu He Chuan, aka his Kung Fu, with a little bit of wrestling... He would be basically unstoppable. Because he has basic jiu-jitsu, right? And then having some basic wrestling would be amazing. So that was it, man. Fight commentary breakdowns, guys. Go subscribe to Chilala. Let's get them to... 
Let's get him to 5,000 subscribers. Also, why don't we go subscribe to him too? This is Boxer Chung. So let's subscribe to him. He's got my subscription now. Let's go subscribe to this guy. This guy putting himself out there. Here he is, Boxer Chung. Let's go leave him a comment. So guys, subscribe to Tsilala and subscribe to Boxer Chung.